Hey guys, this is Brohan. And this is Wolf King of Car. Here with Super Shy Guy Gaming, and welcome to Let's Play Metroid Prime. Again! For the tenth time. Yeah. This is not been... the tenth time you guys have seen. The tenth time we're trying this <laughs> again. <laughs> like... Oh gosh, so many issues. Yep. They just wanna let you know how good it is to be us. <laughs> oh, we're such a professional YouTube channel. Yep, but don't you guys forget it. Our <laughs> dedicated fans would never forget it. So, in case anyone doesn't know, this is Metroid Prime. Came out or sort of GameCube. Yep. Year 2002, 14 years ago. Which is weird as shit, because I'm 23, and I remember when this game came out, and that is a horrifying series. Yeah, like, we were a horrifying thought. We were in fourth grade when this game came out. Wait. Ugh, that was an awful year. <laughs> yeah, that was an awful year. We had the same teacher. This game can't be good, then. I'm just going to yeah. have to throw this away right now. <laughs> like, we're just going <laughs> to stop this game. We're getting too many f bad fourth grade memories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fourth grade was just crap. No one should ever have to go through the fourth grade. Just skip it and go to fifth. <laughs> like, no, j no one should just not have our teacher we had. Oh man, yeah. I mean, ugh, that was just a bad time. Dude, no. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like, is your cat being a dick? Yeah. Nasty as hell this time. Who does that? It's like. <laughs> what did he do? He just like, crawled up on me and started wiping his ass. Like, <laughs> little, little bastard. <laughs> Who does that? Like, <laughs> well, I um, I think Ethan Galleon probably does stuff like that. He does that to everyone, though. This is a cat. <laughs> a cat has responsibilities, and they're pretty damn like healthy. See, he's licking his ass right now. <laughs> like, he's making sure that shit's clean. <laughs> See, uh, so this is Metroid Prime. This is the main character, Samus. She's oh, a badass. No, we don't know that. I mean, the game just started. There's been no dialogue. We've got some armor and an ass shot of someone who potentially has an ass. Skinny ass waist. Yeah. We know they have a face under that armor. That's all we've really gotten here. Okay, so we have a gun. Uh, the buttons change colors when you shoot them with a the gun, so we're gonna go with Like that. in real life. Like in real life, whenever you shoot buttons with guns, they change colors. <laughs> Given they're normally black, but like once you uh, shoot those buttons, there's no color left anymore. They're just yeah. holes. Oops, that is a scan. I don't mean scan. Scan at all. There we go. Yeah, this is a really weird, like shaped spaceship uh. or space or whatever. There's just like lasers holding shit together. <laughs> yeah. That's How weird. is that even possible? <laughs> like, I don't know. Because space, that's why. Because space. The fact they disappear on a regular basis makes me a little more concerned. <laughs> yeah. Ah, something hit me. What was that? What was that? It's Steam. It's yeah. the thing that you download your games in. <laughs> Steam. <laughs> so why you keep shooting that door? Ah, come on, door guy. Open the door for us. Yeah, so you guys didn't get to hear this nine recordings ago, but <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> So I have this theory that there's actually a dude at Nintendo who was put there whenever Metroid Prime was released, and he's like, so listen, what you need to do is keep an eye on everyone who ever plays Metroid Prime. It's like, everyone? Everyone. And what you're going to do is when they get to a there door, go. you're going to open it for them. So like any law-abiding citizen, he said, okay, and now he opens every door in every Metroid Prime ever. But he says to the guy that told him to do this, he's like, what if they don't have internet? I mean, our GameCube already doesn't hook up to the internet. <laughs> Isn't that an easily foreseeable flaw in your plan? Well, I mean, they did have the internet adapter that came out later on. Did they? On the yeah. GameCube? Yeah. Well, I mean, he pretty much just told him, figure it out. <laughs> he was talking to Alex uh, ABK from our channel like a month before this game 14 came out. years ago <laughs> 14 years ago when we were in fourth grade he's like how do i tell this guy to do his job and alex just goes figure it out <laughs> and so now we've got door guy and he still opens the doors to this day yeah. just chilling out in his little janitorial size office you know like, another way you can open doors in this game how well shoot you shoot them just like that i mean that's that's merely coincidence. Like, <laughs> clearly, door guys here opening all these doors. I mean, why else would the doors open 
when you're close to them and you shoot them, but not when you're far away and shoot them. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Yep, I mean, there's no explanation besides Door Guy's existence. Door Guy is love, Door Guy is life. <laughs> Everyone, please donate to our channel for the sake of Door Guy getting a new career. I mean, he'll never see this, possibly because he's not here, or possibly because he doesn't exist, but we would definitely appreciate your funds. He like, probably doesn't exist. He probably doesn't exist. <laughs> But what you could do is Whoa. make a door guy and then tell us about it <laughs> like in the comments. <laughs> if you were a door guy, where would you be stationed and what kind of doors would you like to open the most? Especially ones at Metroid Prime. Yeah, I mean, Specifically wanna, at Metroid Prime. Do you want to open up Metroid Prime doors? Do you want to hold open doors for those guys at like the really snobby guys at these super expensive hotels? And like where their office buildings are at, where they quote unquote sleep with their wife, who is clearly not their wife, or like, do you be the kind of guy that just holds open the casual door for, uh, like, Alucard from Castlevania, and he's like, oh hey, I'll get this door for you. He's like, oh sweet, I was gonna have to go halfway around the game to get through that door. Like, nope, I got it. Thanks, man. You're a real friend. Do you want Alucard calling you a friend? I think that's where you need to be. But, you know, just toss it in the comments, because you're a dedicated fans, and you do that all the time. This video really derailed fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, we're just evolving. Like, <laughs> I mean, this is only the tenth time we've done this, so. Yeah. Boop. I guess uh, it's me, Brohan. I'm the one playing. I guess we never really oh, pointed yeah. that out. <laughs> Ten videos later, that's a good thing we finally <laughs> thought of. Like, <laughs> It's me, Brohan! <laughs> That's not how he laughs, or him, but like... So I sound like, uh, Banjo? <laughs> <laughs> the rest of this Let's Play is gonna be in Banjo's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> Honestly, that would be a great and a horrible idea, just do a... Banjo let's play just the whole time. Just <laughs> like, <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> wasn't wasn't Mumbo like that? <laughs> yeah, like, that was Mumbo. I can't remember how his voice actually sounds, but it's pretty close to that. Yeah. I just remember the witch Kazooie and Banjo. Oh, and then the mole or whatever. He was like Bottles? Bottles. <laughs> how did he sound? I think he did his voice earlier. I think he's just rawr, 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 or something like that. Oh, is he? Sounds like an owl. He should have been more of an owl character because he just hoots. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Metroid Prime is a game. And yeah, we're playing it. Yeah. Welcome to Let's Play Metroid Prime. We're at the boss. From Super Shy Guy Gaming. Well, the this boss is, from Metroid no, Prime. No, this is actually our boss. This is who we report to. Like. <laughs> the Parasite Queen. The downside is our boss lived for like three seconds. <laughs> three minutes? For like three minutes. Say hello to the boss of Super Shy Guy Gaming, the Parasite Queen. Surprise member and special celebrity. And we get to kill her. Yeah. She's a bitch. I don't know who devised this shield system, though. Like... It's clearly not meant to keep it in there. <laughs> like, is this the Parasite Queen's shield system that she custom made? I guess. I don't know why she would make it. It seems a little pointless to me. <laughs> I need to have one open space for people to shoot me. I mean, there's two open spaces. Yeah. And then it'll just randomly go sh bad shit crazy and just go <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but Ow. not just any bad shit. I mean, zoo bad shit. <laughs> <laughs> zoo bad. Uh oh. I need another. There we go. Uh, enemy to find its weak spot. Have you tried scanning the enemy to find its weak spot? Yeah. Its weak spot is everywhere. On its body. <laughs> <laughs> if I shoot it with my gun, it'll probably die. Yeah. <laughs> weak spot found. How did that hit me? I'm way over here. Because raisins. Yep. Jeez. It's all shooting out of the side of its face. <laughs> yeah, that's These the are thing. my jowls! Oh. <laughs> Scary Jowls, <laughs> like... Bird. Bird. Oh, shit. Bird. Where's that? 
Where the hell is it at? There it is. Ow. I want to see Ethan Galleon play this. Problem is, this would be 20 minutes in the future. <laughs> and there's not bear traps. <laughs> there's not enough bear traps to stop an Ethan Galleon run. He'll beat this game in no time, as long as there's no bear traps <laughs> involved. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is a reference to our previous stream we just had last yeah, night. we actually uploaded that video. Oh, it was, was it last night? Yeah, it was last night. No way. No, no, it was not last night. <laughs> that was like two nights ago. Yeah. Today's Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it was like Friday night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Oh, no. Oh, wait. She's not. <laughs> wait, oh. Yeah, I'm made of crab legs. Oh, nom, nom. I'm delicious. Oh, oh shit, I'm dead. Oh shit, I'm dead. Their final words. <laughs> like, that's how everyone was going to remember you. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh shit, we're gonna die. Oh god. You've got a few minutes. You must get out of the reactor core immediately. Six minutes. Beep. 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 <laughs> Door guy, don't fail us now. Beep. Beep. That's all he says. He doesn't even speak. He just. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> like. <laughs> Not even more, so it's just. Beep. Beep. Oh, I think this deactivates that turret. Yes, it does. I don't deal with those little bastards anymore. Oh, shit! Holy shit! That's the second time he hasn't died yet. At least it's not like double shooting like he did last time. Yeah. Because usually, every other time when an explosion happens, both of those guys die, but. Uh, at that time, the second guy didn't die. It's so weird. Oh, yeah, there's one really cool feature in this game. Phil shoot at another item at me. This dude can die. Please What's die. What's the feature? I'll show you here in a second. So if you nice, charge your yeah. beam, you can actually drag uh, oh, cool. power-ups to you. It's nifty as hell. Does it also drag their bullets at you? <laughs> like, yes. Are you serious? No. Okay. <laughs> so that's awful. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> Uh, morph ball action. There we go. Pinball! Pinball. Oh, dude, they did make a, a Metroid Prime pinball game years ago, too. Did they really? Yeah, is it like a Game Boy game? Or? Oh, it was no, DS. It was DS. I just remember that. Man, the DS came out around this time, too. 2002? Wasn't it? It was probably more like 04, 05. So, yeah. So we I don't know, because Metroid Prime was still a big deal because they made Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. Yeah. Like, there might have been the second one out already, but I'm pretty second sure one was already one. out by that time, and then uh, the third game came out on the Wii. But yeah, we were like in middle school when the uh, Wii came out. Or the DS. Out. Well, yeah, we were in middle school when the Wii came out, I think. Yeah, we were, for sure. I and then the that. DS definitely did came out when we were like probably fifth or sixth grade. So when the Wii came out, right? Remember how hard it was to find, like, they'd only stock, like, a couple at a store per month or some crap? Yeah. So, my mom, me and her, uh, went to Walmart one night, and they were like, sorry, we don't know when we get our next stock of it. It's like, <laughs> but we stock it at this time every time we get it. Yeah. Like, okay. So, clearly, they were full of shit, because somebody was going to know something. Um, at least in our opinion. Yeah. So, oh, shit. Jeez. <laughs> so. Ah, uh, damn it, door guy. My mom called Nintendo, <laughs> like, <laughs> she called Nintendo, I was in the room with her, yeah. and she oh, was like, there we go. she like, fought the integrity of the company what the hell? There we go. to this representative yeah. saying that, like, if we can't find a Wii, we're just gonna go buy a PS3, because why not, like, yeah. we're just gonna buy the competition system. And so, back at there, we went back there at like 11.40 at Walmart that night. Yeah. And because they were going to stock it at midnight again if they had it. Oh, shit. Cutscene. So I was talking to my mom. I'm like, are you? Are we really going to get a PS3 instead? Because that's like a $100 difference or some <laughs> crap. Like, I didn't remember how much. But she's like, I mean, if we can't find one, if you're okay with it, yeah, we'll get you a PS3. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> like, <laughs> thankfully, the Wii actually was there that night, and I got my Nintendo Wii. Uh, my mom would have never done that. Man, I couldn't believe that happened. Like... <laughs> That's awesome. Little kid Brian hearing that, little wolf king, like cub king, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> cub king. I was king of no one at that point. I was wolf cub. Wolf prince of Well, time. you would have been king of noons probably. Oh, yeah. This is before king of noons existed. 
Holy shit. Yeah, I know, right? Like, King of Noons didn't exist till after I had the Wii, because that was whenever me and Down Phoenix reunited. Oh made, shit! That's when we made double team games. That was... Oh, now we lost all of our shit. Now we suck. I got my YouTube account just a little while before that. Oh man, that is horrifying to look at. There's... Yeah, where's her bathing suit? <laughs> like, <laughs> Get armor or GTFO? Get armor? Get armor. Okay. Well, let's do that soon. I'm just gonna play the whole game in scan mode. <laughs> like. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're doing the 100% scan run, Probably which we're not soon. doing, by the way, yeah, I'm sure that jazz. people would have noticed by now. <laughs> Oh, come on, door guy, open the door. Door guy can't open the door. He's taking a pee break. Oh, he's back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a long pee. That was a short pee break. Come on, door guy. Don't take another pee break. This ship is exploding. You should probably get out of here. <laughs> the lasers weren't strong enough to hold them. Hey, there is with the... <laughs> you know, ride that bastard out of here. <laughs> nope, too awesome. She does a whole lot of just turning around and just staring at things when things are happening around her. I don't know how much speaking there actually is in the game. We only heard one There's spoken thing besides us this whole time. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Zero speaking. That, that, that whole evacuate now. The only time you're going to hear any more dialogue oh in God. this game. And I made you guys miss it. I'm so sorry. Not really. Yeah. I mean, like... <laughs> I'm sure most people that watch this have probably played Metroid. Probably so. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Begin landing sequence. It's gonna land on some random planet. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find somebody here. I forgot how to fly without my armor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some damn good armor. <laughs> Coming in rough. Apply the loop. <laughs> oh, it worked out. Oh, dude, I think this is the same planet as Star Fox Adventures. You know, it kind of reminds Star me of that Fox actually. Star Fox Adventures. There we go. That game was awful. Yeah. That was the first game I had on the GameCube. Star Fox Adventures. It's just a not a good Zelda game. No, <laughs> it's definitely not a good Zelda game. It's not a good Star Fox game. It's not a good Metroid <laughs> game. It's not a good game. <laughs> that game was just awful. Uh, door guy let us down with that one. Alright, well, seeing as Door Guy is not here to say hi, we're gonna go ahead and head out for the first episode. Here we are. Yep. So this is Brohan. And Wolf King Aka. Here with Super Shy Guy Gaming. Super Shy Guy Gaming! And we'll see you in the next episode. Peace, guys!